Hello everyone, my name is Prot Desilaos, also known as Prot. In this video, I want to introduce and demonstrate my new package called Pulsar or Pulsar.el. This is a very simple package for Emacs that will temporarily highlight the current line. It is built on the Pulse.el library, which is included in Core Emacs, and simply extends it so that it works with uh, other functions uh, as well. And I will demonstrate what I mean right here. So in the scratch buffer over here, I have prepared a very short presentation. Uh, so let's uh, start uh, right away and uh, see how we go. Um, the very basic uh, setup that you need once you get the package is what I have over here. So you just want to require it and then uh, call the function uh, pulsar setup. Uh, of course, this is all documented in the manual and the link is here on my website and from there you can find links to uh, the Git uh, source, the GitLab source or the GitHub uh, mirror. So with Pulsar, we can, as I said, temporarily highlight the current line. So let me show you this effect. I am now invoking this command uh, manually. You can see the key I am pressing and the command that it invokes. Uh, in uh, the mode line over here, this is the key cast indicator. So you can see I am temporarily highlighting uh, the current line. So let's see what else we can do with Pulsar. As I said, the idea is that we should extend the pulsing effect uh, to other functions. So what we have here is the user option Pulsar Pulse Functions. And its documentation explains why uh, you should not use set Q to set up this variable. Instead, you should use customize set variable. Or if you are using use package, then you should check the custom keyword and uh, other um, configuration managers, um, rather um, macros, uh, should have the equivalent of custom like uh, leaf or uh, setup.el. Uh, I am not sure what that is. Uh, but anyhow, you should check with the documentation. You want to use the customize facility because this user option has a special uh, setter, custom setter. So when you invoke it, it actually uh, runs um, the pulse setup. It actually uh, runs this over here in the background uh, so that it sets things uh, up uh, appropriately. Uh, so just use it in this way as I have it over here. So anyhow, the Pulsar uh, Pulse uh, functions uh, takes a list of symbols and this list will, of course, reference functions. And the idea is that whenever you invoke one of those uh, items mentioned in this uh, list, Pulsar will uh, pulse the line uh, temporarily. So you see, for example, we have over here other window. So I will now switch between windows and see what happens. So you see, I get the pulse effect uh, while switching to the other window. Let's um, comment this out. So disable it and reevaluate this um, uh, user option. And let's uh, check again what happens. You see now I don't get the other window. Uh, so let's uh, have it again. And I now have the pulsar effect uh, for the other window. And the same principle for all the other functions uh, that are over here. Uh, no need to demonstrate it for each of them. You get the idea. Uh, this is the default uh, value. I think this covers um, everything that is uh, built into Emacs that uh, would be uh, useful uh, to have uh, pulsing for. Uh, however, this is a user option. So of course, uh, you can add this to your configuration file and um, add or remove uh, symbols accordingly. Uh, next uh, user option that we have over here is the Pulsar face. Uh, I define, I think, six faces. Uh, so it covers the basic uh, colors, uh, red, green, uh, yellow, blue, magenta, and uh, cyan. Uh, so uh, here I am using Pulsar magenta. Uh, let's uh, have uh, red. And we see now that we get a red highlight. Give me blue. And now I have blue. How about yellow? And the yellow, green. Uh, let's see the green. Okay. And the uh, cyan. 
and we have everything. So let's uh, let's keep I don't know. Let's uh, keep yellow. For now. Let's see. Okay. So you see how that works. Of course, faces in Emacs are customizable. So if you don't like the exact hues, you can always tweak them to your uh, liking, or you can uh, send me an email and I can do it. Uh, directly at uh, pulsar.el or open an issue on the git repo and then we have the pulsar uh, delay and this basically uh, is uh, represents seconds uh, and controls the duration of the pulse uh, so let me increase it a bit let first before i evaluate this uh, notice how long it takes here and let's evaluate this on the higher number you see now uh, the duration is more uh, noticeable so of course you will want to set this to a value that uh, gets the job done but is not too uh, distracting you don't want uh, this to call too much attention to itself you want it to give you an indication of where you are and then uh, disappear uh, and here i just uh, set up a key binding of course uh, but this is up to you because control x l is a standard key binding so if you want to override the original command that's up to you of course this is emacs you can do whatever you want uh, but generally packages uh, should not bind uh, should not override built-in commands so pulsar does not define any key bindings this is just my own configuration okay so that's it and the final part is that pulsar uh, defines some uh, additional functions, very small functions, which will reposition the point uh, uh, at the top or uh, the middle of the buffer, uh, of the window rather, and also pulse the line. And this is useful, for example, with uh, consult. Consult provides a hook called consult after jump hook. And uh, when you use the consult package to uh, jump to a location, uh, you can uh, hook uh, the, for example, pulsar recenter top and pulsar reveal entry functions. These are documented uh, in the manual. And what these do is they take effect after you pulse, uh, you rather jump with consult to a given location. So let's see this in practice. By the way, you see when I uh, swap the window uh, states, how I also get the pulse effect, which is something that I added in the pulsar uh, functions that I showed earlier. So let's go to the readme over here. You see that uh, the readme is the manual. It, uh, it uh, turns into the official uh, .info uh, manual or the text info format rather. So here we are. Let me invoke a consult function, consult outline in this case. And let's say I want to go to the sample configuration. So you see it expands the heading and it pulses the line. Uh, so that's very uh, convenient. Uh, okay, it's a basic idea. You, can, uh, you don't have to do that. It's up to you. Pulsar will not do that out of the box. All you need with Pulsar is this and this require and then setup. If you want, you can also uh, change the pulsar pulse uh, functions. But please read the documentation string as well, because it explains why you should use customize set variable or equivalent instead of set queue. Uh, and then we have the integration with other packages. Uh, so uh, you can uh, check this as well. Uh, of course, the manual may be expanded upon uh, as I continue working on this package. But I think, but I think that in terms of features, this is um, feature complete. So uh, this is all from my side, uh, folks. I will now uh, prepare uh, the relevant uh, patch to include uh, pulsar.el uh, to GNU Elpa. The name will be Pulsar, and you will be able to install it uh, from there in the coming hours or days, depending on how much time the uh, GNU Elpa machinery tech takes to uh, build the package. Uh, so that's all uh, for now, folks. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. As I said, um, make sure to uh, check the official uh, manual, uh, protesilaos.com uh, forward slash emacs forward slash pulsar. And from there, you can find the link uh, to the Git sources. That's all from my side. Thank you very much for your attention, folks. Goodbye.